Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to show you how to program and what the controls mean on this Braun KF7000 Brew Sense coffee maker. It's got quite a few features and I want to go over each one of them. I'm going to show you how to set the delay brew. It's got auto off, it's got a clean function, it's got a hard water function, and that one to four switch. So when you first turn these on, or when you first plug them in, they flash two instead of 12. Most of them. So we want to set the time as the first thing. You're going to leave the coffee pot off, and then you're going to hold this clock button until that hour, that hour is going to start flashing. Now this display does not have backlighting. I wish it had backlighting, but it doesn't. But it does have an AM and a PM. So I'm going to use the set button to find PM. So it's 5. I'm going to press the clock one more time to get over to minutes. It's 5.05 PM. And I press the clock one more time. My time is set. So now the next thing you may want to do is, so in order to just brew a cup of coffee, you just, this, this is the power button. This doesn't start the brew process. It just turns the coffee pot on. And then when we want to brew a pot of coffee right now, we just press the brew button and it starts the brew process, heating the water and all that. But we're not going to do that right now. But we want to make sure we've got the coffee pot on. Now the auto on, that's your, when you want to get up at five, uh, four in the morning with coffee ready to go. So we've got to press and hold this button. That light's going to flash at us and the hour is going to blink. So then we press the set button to find, let's do 6, 6 a.m. If that's 6, that's the hour. Press this one more time, we'll get over to the minutes. Let's do 6.15. You want to give yourself about 15 minutes. So if you want this coffee ready at 6.30 in the morning, set this for 6.15. Then we're going to press the auto on button one more time. Now that just sets the time. It doesn't turn this on. You got to you got to hit this button one more time. Now that light's going to be on. Now make sure you've got your coffee and your water ready to go. And then with this light on and the coffee pot on, it's going to start the brew process at that time you set, 6:15 a.m. Now let's say you want to check what time if I press this button, it shows it for a second and then it comes on again. But if I want to say I don't want it to start in the morning, I'm just going to press that one time. It's going to turn it off. And then when I press it, it shows the time it's going to start. It goes back to normal time, and that light's on. So that's the auto on feature. And for the rest of these, we've got to have the coffee pot on. So this auto off, the default is two hours. So after two hours, this coffee pot, if it's been sitting there with the burner on, it's going to shut itself off but you can change that time. And the way you do that is you're gonna hold this button and then it's gonna start flashing up here. Use the set button. You gotta walk it through in five minute, five minute increments. You can go all the way up to five hours, I think. If you hold it, it goes really fast. Yeah, so at the five hour mark, it goes back down to five minutes and then it just keeps counting up. So say you want it for 45 minutes. When I've got that time set, I'm going to press that one more time. Now, the thing about this switch is, though, if you don't have it selected, so now say I want to use that 45 minutes, i got to come up here and select it. But it's only going to work that one time I brew that cup of coffee. Because when you brew your cup of coffee, and like say you turn it off in the morning, or after you're done, and turn it back on, that auto-off feature is not does not come back on. So it's going to default back to the two-hour mark. So if you want to keep that 45 minute mark, you got to hit that every time. We've done the clock. Now this clean button, this clean button does two things. It sets your hard water softness, your how hard your water is, and it also cleans the machine. So let's talk about uh, your water softness. Now one thing, if this light is lit, and you can't get it to go out, you got to do a clean process. You got to clean your coffee pot. And the way you do that is you're just going to press this button. That light's going to flash. Got your vinegar in and you're going to do a brew. Now don't do that because you have to finish that process or you won't, it won't let you do anything else till that process is done. So we're not going to do that. I just wanted to tell you that because I tried setting my water softness, but this light was on steady. 
This coffee pot knows when it needs descaled. So it turns this light on steady and you have to do a cleaning process and it won't let you set your water softness. So once you got that light reset, then you can come up here and hold this button. It's going to flash. It says H3. Now if I press the set button, there's H1, H2, and H3. H1 is for soft water. H2 is for normal water. H3 is for hard water. What that does is it, it, it sets the burner, um, how long it's going to heat the water and all that, depending on how hard your water is. And then once you let go, it memorizes whatever setting you had. I explained the clean button. You're going to just going to press it. It's going to flash and you're going to do a brew. This one to four button. Now this one to four buttons, if you're going to do a really small cup of coffee. So you hit it and you're only going to put in a small amount of water and a small amount of coffee. So their theory is, so you, you, you do that. Then you come over here, you hit the one to four and then you, st you just hit the brew button. And it's going to brew that small amount. It says it gives it extra flavor. It probably brews it a little slower, maybe. But the theory behind this is, is so it, it thinks once you once it's done brewing, you're going to grab that coffee out of there and you're going to be done. So it shuts the coffee maker off at the end of that process so that you can just grab your small amount of coffee for your probably one cup. And then you can go and not worry about having to hit this, this power button to turn it off. It turns everything all the way off. So we're going to deselect that. And again, if you want to just brew a cup of coffee right now, you're going to, this is the power button, and then you just hit the brew button. Everything's dead without the power button. So again, this is just a dad. I hope I explained all the features. This is a really nice coffee maker. They're just a little complicated, but you get used to the controls after a while. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.